Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please be a witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customizations and they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So if you have any video requests or any questions, don't hesitate. Just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to make a video for you and you don't have to subscribe. Or actually, maybe now you should consider subscribing because this is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but right now I will be sharing complete sections, highly customizable and widgets as well. So you can make a Shopify store professional without having to pay those expensive teams or rely on those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. Or I'll give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check it out, see the sections and I'll let you decide. But now I will share something very interesting which is showing the recent sales on your Shopify store just like you see right now on this Shopify store without using applications because mostly this is uh, like a possible using applications but now I will give you your own custom code so you can actually show the recent sales on your Shopify store but without having to pay monthly subscription application and this is highly customizable you can customize the colors you can customize like the uh, the style and everything else and I will show you that in this video with all the options so you can see for yourself and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see, by the way, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. Then each video, I add small things. So by the 70 or 80 video, the team will be completely different. But because this is a different chapter, I think I will reach that level by the video 30 or 40. For example, you see this reviews section right here. This is all in one review section that will show reviews from Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy all in one place. And it's filterable. If I click on Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google. And if I click on Facebook, it will only show me the reviews from Facebook and so on for Amazon and Etsy. And this is highly customizable. If I uh, like if you want to change even like the color for this small verified icon, you can do that. And yes, this is not an application. This is your own code. But I'm about to show you in this video. You see right here, it does show up here, is, as you can see, this is the system I'm talking about. Oh yeah, you see this pop-up again, because this is actually those pop-ups that you know when once you're trying to leave the page or access, close the website, then they show up. This is what you saw right now. I already made a video on it, check it out, it's very interesting. Let me close this and this is the widget I'm talking about or the notification. It's a push notification that will show up and you can change the color as you can see this one with different colors. You can change anything. It has also this glass morphism effect same as the one that the header has it as you can see. The header has this uh, uh, effect. You can add this effect on this push notification that will show the recent sales. So let me quit talking and let me show you that in action. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously access Shopify dashboard. After that, if you are in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Because as I said, we will use our own code, no applications involved. So after that, it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And then on this left panel right here, you see these files on folders. There is a folder called sections, just like you see. Simply click on it, then click on add new section. It will show you this prompt right here where you can name your section and simply name it sales, just like you see on the screen. You don't have to type in the extension name, which is not liquid, just the name for the file. So click on done. It will create some code here by default. Simply select the whole code in here, then remove it. After that, obviously, scroll down the description box and you will see a link from my website and then get the code. Actually, wait until you see how it looks like and the customizations and how to add sales and so on. Then see if it suits your purpose, then get it. After that, it, you will get a file and also you will get a PDF file, comprehensive guide on how to use actually the section. And with my personal contact as well, so you can contact me if you need to. And after you did get the file, open it with any text editor on your computer, then simply copy the whole code. If you are Windows, use Control A to select the whole code, then copy it, then simply paste it in here. After that, click on the save button. We'll wait for a couple of seconds, it's saved. It. Now we will get back to our team editor because we need to add the section and this is invisible section it will not show up so click on customize and after that add it anywhere because it doesn't matter because as I said it will not show up so let me add it in here and scroll down let me look for it here it is it says recent sales notifications simply click on it 
as you can see, it didn't show anything because this is only for notification. It will not show any section on your Shopify store. And on the left here, there is some settings for the display. As you can see, you can pick where you want to uh, display the notification at the bottom right, at the bottom left, top right and top left. So at any corner on your Shopify store, like the squared corner, at any corner, you can pick and choose. In my case, I like it at the top right. So I'm going to do top right, just like you see. And below it, the display mode. So is it in sequence, in order or random? What it means, because this is, this blocks right here is the sales. So if you did in sequence, it will actually show this one first, then the second one, then the third one. So basically it will be in order. But if you pick the other option, the other option, sorry, which is random. So it will display the notifications randomly. And this is a personal preference. So I'll let you choose. And below it, the option for notification and below it, the option for the notification visibility duration. So how long the notification will stay visible for the user, then it will be gone and it will show the next notification. So I always pick it, I always keep it around eight, eight, eight or nine seconds. And I also added some descriptions below the options so you can understand what it does basically. In my case, as I said, I would keep it nine and I would recommend you to play around with the option to see which one suits your purpose. Uh, again, below it is the interval between the notifications. So how long should the duration be between each notification, including the time for the visibility? For in my case, I'm going to keep it low, just five seconds. Then the option below it again is the initial delay. So this is only for the first notification. So how long should wait after the user access the website or the Shopify store in this case, then it will show the first notification. Is it seven seconds or less? In my case, I'm going to keep it less, like three or four. Let's just keep it at four seconds. So the user, once he access the page, it will be like four seconds. Then it will show the first notification. And below it is if you want to enable the notifications on mobile and it looks very good on mobile. So no worries. I will show you that in a second. Then the other option below it is the glass morphism effect which is the same effect I showed you at the header. So if you want to enable the option or disable it, but if you enable the option, it will has gloss it will has glass morphism effect across all the notification. But if you disable it, you can actually customize each notifications colors. Let me show you that in a second. Now the next thing is how to add the sales. Very easy. You see those blocks right here. This is the sales. If I click on the first one, it will show me here the, on the on the right side, the customer's name, the customer's last name. What the hell? No, this doesn't look good. I apologize. Let me do this one. Okay, good. <laughs> I apologize. And also make sure to keep this ones for privacy. You don't want to reveal the customer's name, obviously. Make sure to keep just like this one I did in demonstration. And also the country, you can uh, change the country for the where the customers bought the product. And also the time ago two hours ago, f uh, 10 hours ago, and this will not change. Like if you did two hours, it will stay visible two hours. It will not change like tomorrow. It will be like one day and two hours ago. No, it will keep the same date. And below it is the obviously the review. And this is optional. You can remove this or keep it as you like. And below it is the product. So basically, which product the user bought. And also the notification is clickable. The push notification is actually clickable once the user saw it and wants to check out the product that the customer bought, which is in this case is John A. He can actually click on the notification and it will take him to the particular product that we, did, we can select right now. So let me select, for example, this anchor bracelet, which is the one I use always with demonstrations. Let me uh, select this one and below it is the visual settings. So the background color by default is white. I'm going to do black. I like it black. And also the text color, I'm going to do white and the accent color, which is the verified, what it says, the verified. I will show you that in a second. I think you already saw it. And these options are for the glass morphism effect, which is we already disabled. And this is the border thickness. I'm going to keep it just like this because it looks very good like this. And this one's the two options. They don't matter anymore because we did disable the glass morphism effect. So let me add another notification again. Let me quickly uh, change this. And by the way, this is how it looks like, as you can see with the glass morphism effect, this is how it looks like. But my preference, I like it to change the color so I can play around with the notifications. Let me add just to, just for demonstration, you can add up to 25 notifications. 
up to 25 push notifications. So let me click on the save button. I want actually to change the, the location. I'm gonna do uh, bottom right. Yeah, bottom right is, is, is good too. Uh, this is the, the corners I like, top right and bottom, uh, bottom right. So let me get back to the website. Let me reload the page. So I should show up right now at the bottom right corner. Here it is, as you can see, it shows up at the bottom right corner and it looks very good, very clean, shows the hours, the country, verified sale and purchase with the link. For example, if I click on it, it will take me to this particular product that the customer bought. And as I said, you can add up to 25 notifications. So let me show you how, to look, how, how does it look on the mobile. So you can make sure that it actually works on the mobile. Let me reload the page, here it is, it shows up. And here it is, as you can see, this is how it looks like on the mobile, which is, it can attract attention. If, especially if you do black color, as you saw right now in this demonstration. So this is highly customizable, and it's very, very good for people that are using applications. And if there is anything you want to add in this section, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.